Yeah! You want some of this, bro? I don't think you do! I don't think you want any of this! Ah, oh, come on. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, I actually see his health bar. Okay. What is up, guys? Me like here, and today we are back in action playing some Arc Mod. It's gonna be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to go and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. it Help me out tremendously. So, hopefully, you guys had a wonderful Christmas and uh, you got everything that you liked and you wanted. And uh, yeah, well, hopefully, everything was that good. We have New Year's coming up, so hopefully, you guys have a very safe and wonderful New Year's as well. Uh, last time we got a lot of comments and a lot of likes and I really appreciate the support guys. It means a lot uh, I think we got like hundred and ninety <laughs> comments or something. I looked through most I looked through all of them uh, And mostly looking for name suggestions, but we got a lot of comments, which is awesome. Holy crap at the damage I'm taking right now Dude, these little zombie dodos are horrible. They're like murdering me. So actually after last episode I killed a couple of the ancient Brontos and um, the, I can kill them. So this guy can actually kill the ancient Brontos, which is good. Uh, let's get out of here real quick. I'm going to increase my... Nope, that's not what I want to do. I want to increase my damage, I guess, because we're going to need some of the damage. Holy crap of the Zomdodos, man. They're going absolutely insane. So a lot of you guys wanted me to actually tame or kill the Dodo Rex. I don't think we're at that point yet, but we're not at that point yet, definitely. Uh, I don't think I can kill it, and I don't... Well, I might be able to kill it, I don't know. But I definitely can't tame it. It's going to require like 300,000 Torpor probably just to tame this guy. Uh, and I definitely didn't bring enough stuff with me. I on When I started this adventure, I didn't expect um, to actually like encounter a Dodo Rex. So I didn't bring enough stuff with me or craft enough stuff. And also, there's something in this mod I want to make to help me tame some of these harder creatures. Uh, we're not going to worry about it today, but let's just go over here. Uh, I'm going to regain some of my HP real quick. Am I gaining some of my HP? No, I need to, uh, let's see. Yes, I am gaining my HP back very, very fast. Hey, get out of here, you stupid zombies. You stupid zomdodos. Get out. Oh, my God, they're not dying. Uh, so we can maybe just, like, come over here and play with it for a second. Like, I mean, <laughs> he's probably going to kill me. No, don't kill me. Hey, what's up, bro? Look at this. Uh, dude, this guy is cool. I, I think it's awesome that you can... T oh, he's not actually... Oh, okay. Uh, okay! Oh, oh! Uh, actually, maybe... Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's, um... Okay. Yeah, let's fight it for... Oh, there's two of them! There's two of them! Um... Oh, <laughs> no. There's two of them! Get out of here, you stupid dodo creatures! Oh, my... Uh, okay, let's, uh... Let's 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 run away. You know, I mean, or we could fight them. You know, let's fight them. Hey, get out of here. You know, I think we can get away. So I'm just going to fight them for a little bit. We're going to wait till we get to about 50% health, and then you know what? We're almost at 50% health. I'm just going to go go and call them. And there's a Giganotosaurus right there as well. Um. So yeah, I just want to kind of. Met, um, oh, don't poop! Don't poop mid battle. Don't do it. Oh, and I'm frozen. Uh, so, anyways, today the goals are, uh, we're going to name our frog, uh, but I also want to find an anklo today as well. Oh my god, will you stop pooping? Um, I am eating a mass amount of, stop pooping! <laughs> I'm eating a mass amount of berries. Uh, okay, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to, okay, I'm like at full health, so yeah, I think we can easily get away, away from these guys. Um, let's, uh, come down here. We're going to try to find an anklo. Uh, this area is cool. Uh, what, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's like an elite zombie dodo. What? I didn't even know that was a thing. What? What? Are, wait, what is this thing? Dude, dude, come back here. I need you in my belly. I don't know what this is, but we're going to attack it. I've never seen an elite zombie dodo. Wait. Oh, hey, hey, it looks like the, the dodo rexes are, they don't like the water, which is good. Did I? Did I killed it. Okay. I think. Oh, no, I didn't kill it. Uh, let's kill this guy. Let's kill this guy. Um Yes, the golden Zom Dodo has been defeated. Oh, that is cool. Do you have any stuff on you? The golden beast. Uh herbivore golden tree. This food will instantly bind any tameable creature. Any tameable creature to your wheel. That is awesome. Okay. That is really, really... Oh, I am going to drown. I am going to drown. Let me get on Vulcan here real quick. Uh, anyways, I'm going to pause it. We're going to find some Anklos. And that in any tameable creature to your will is pretty sick. 
That's pretty sick. Uh, it's not just like gentle substance or anything. It's any creature. So like we could keep this and then if we ever knock out the, the Dodorex, we can like just instantly tame it, which would be sick. Uh, now, I don't have a way to uh, do that right now, but eventually, in the future, we'll... Okay, so it spoils in, like, six days? Okay, yeah, that's good. We're good. Uh, that's going to last a while, so yeah, I will be right back. Look at all these guys. Actually, you guys might want to see me kill one of these creatures. Maybe. We could kill one of the Brontos or something. They're not that bad. Uh, and, and then, uh, they don't actually knock uh, my big dude here back that much. Uh, I guess because maybe he's just a bigger creature or something. And he actually has a lot of knockback himself, which is pretty good. So let's just go ahead and kill this guy. I'm sure you guys probably won't... Oh, and killed an ancient Brontosaurus. Nice! Uh, where... What? What? Where did... Where did this... What? Okay. That's... That's nice. His body just, like, heliumed up into the atmosphere. That was, that was really good. That was on in 10 out of 10 IGN. That's what that was. Okay, we're back. So, uh, we have a couple ankles here, but we're not taming either one of those guys because they are low level, so we're not going to worry about it. But we do need a mammoth. So, I was thinking, do we have any gentle substance on us? If we do, uh, then we can probably instantly tame this guy. I don't want to use the golden substance because I feel like that would just be overkill. Maybe I stuck. Maybe it's I put it away. I might have put it away. I really... Uh, well, you know, we can always go back and try to find another one. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be really rare to find these golden treats. But, you know, whatever. Let's go ahead and try this out. Can we instantly tame this guy? It, it just... It instantly tame him. He's level 348. Oh, my God. Uh, let's look at his stats. So, I'm pretty sure in this mod... Um, all the normal dinos are vanilla, so he's going to be like kind of vanilla. Besides the movement speed and weight that I've put into him, uh, he's going to be, I mean, into the like the stats or whatever. Yeah, so he has 9,000 health, 2,000 stamina, 900 oxygen, 27,000 food, 1,400 weight, 588% uh, melee damage, and 200% movement speed. So yeah, he's... He's pretty vanilla. He's pretty good. Uh, now, I guess the goal is now uh, we're going to try to find... Yeah, I don't want to tame this guy. I'm going to get rid of this guy. You know, it might not even be worth using the golden treats, but I just kind of wanted to test it out. Uh, and next up, I want to test out it, or test if... Um, is there something attacking me? No. I want to test if you can actually tame with these herbivore foods. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab one of these guys real quick. No, I don't want to do that. Can you tame with these herbivore foods? Like, can I... Yeah, you can feed the baby foods to them, and apparently it's really, really good. Um, I'm not going to test that out, though. Uh, we might do that to tame something else. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to... What level is this guy over here? Let's go ahead and get my spy scope back out. And I think they were all low level. I'm pretty sure they were all low level. Yeah, level 16. Okay, so we're going to uh, go on a hunt for an Anklo. And I am for sure 100% going to try to find one this time. So yeah, that's going to be the goal. Uh, come on, Mammoth. Oh yeah, we need name suggestions for the Mammoth down below as well. Um, so we just found the, the Megapithecus, um, I, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what to do about the situation, like we're finding so many good creatures, but I can't do anything about it, I would love to tame him, uh, we might try to kill him though, but ah, man, I don't, th I mean, we probably could kill him, you, ah, man, maybe we should try, here, stop, uh, we're gonna tell you to stop, and then I'm going to put you on passive. Ah, oh, man, this might be a bad idea. I kind of don't want to do this with the mammoth. Ah, oh, man, but should we? He's probably going to be really fast, too. I bet he's super aggressive as well, isn't he? Look at him. He's over there, like, fighting a freaking Carno, man. I'm assuming he's going to be in the same territory as the Dodo Rex. I know nothing about, the me like, the mega creatures, uh, or I guess the boss creatures in this mod, besides the Dodo Rex, really. Um, I know they can spawn in different colors, like, you can get, like, a blue monkey, like, or the blue, like, Megapithecus and stuff like that. That's one thing I liked about this mod, is because it takes the bosses and allows you to do crazy stuff with them. Um, I, I, maybe we shouldn't, you know, maybe we shouldn't even bother, because I have the mammoth here, I don't want to lose the mammoth. Maybe we can come back, we know where this is, uh, and we know, like, where this stuff kind of spawns, so maybe, for now, yeah, for now, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, but I want... <laughs> But I, what level are you? What? I, that would be so cool if I could like, he's level 48. You know what? You know what? Yes. Yes. Come here, buddy. Yeah. You want some of this, bro? I don't think you do. I don't think you want any of this. Ah, oh, come on. 
Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, I actually see his health bar. Okay. We're going to beat this guy, guys. Oh, yes. Yes. Come here. Yes. Come on. Yeah, you're going down, bro. You're going down. Baby monkey versus adult monkey. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, I got it. My friend. Right. Yes. I have killed the, 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 the Megapithecus. Okay. Am I? Am I? Okay. Let's, let's get off this guy. Okay. So he has... Uh, not that good of stuff on him. He's not as impressive as I thought he would be, but he would definitely make a great tame creature. Oh, uh, it doesn't show me his stats. I really wanted to see his stats. Anyways, well, we killed the Megapithecus, but he, well, he was low level. But I think it's so cool that like they spawn naturally, and they're like implemented into the mod. So they're balanced around the mod, which is really, really nice. Um, that low level one obviously wasn't too impressive, but it was still pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to pause it. We're going to continue searching for our Anklo, and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So after searching around for a while, I uh, found an Anklo. He's not quite as high as I want him to be, but I'm really tired of looking to be... What? 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 Pa passive. Passive. Stop it. Stop it. What are you doing? Hey, wait a sec. Let me... Let me... Hey, we have this. Uh, let's... Uh... No. No, stop shooting my... No, stop it. Wait, what's my... What's the health of this at? Anklo, no! Stop it! Anklo, I just want to be your friend. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, wow, this turned into a giant fest of things that I did not want to deal with. Okay, uh, Mammoth, Mammoth, come over here, bro. We're going to wait until the Anklo loses interest. Yep. The Anklo will eventually lose interest. Yep, he has already lost interest, which is good. Uh, okay, so we're gonna tame this guy now on the way back I've actually been close to the base, but I came back this way because like there's no anklos close to my base um, There's actually an island in between the desert area and like one of these snow mountains I don't know where it was I forget now, but there's like this round Circular cavern that goes straight down filled with water and I really want to explore that so uh, maybe pretty soon We'll make some like scuba gear and stuff or something like that and um We'll check that out, but it was really, really cool. Like, it looked really, really interesting. Uh, okay, so, yeah, this is going to take a while. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to use this. I mean, we have a lot of these stakes, and we can kill more of those things. So, there we go. We have an Anglosaurus, which is awesome. He's level 250. He's not quite as high as I wanted him to be. Um, but, you know, that's all right. That's all right. Let's go and check his stats real quick. So he has 5,000 health, 800 stamina, uh, he has 900 weight, 500% melee damage, 150% movement speed. We're definitely going to be increasing these stats. They're not that great. Uh, but what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to meet you guys back at base. Uh, we're going to make some saddles for both these guys, and then we're probably going to craft some things. Okay, we're back. So we're back home. It took me freaking forever to get back home. Uh, but we're going to make a couple refining forges because we have a lot of metal that we've got from drops. We have, haven't actually mined any metal besides just from, like, basic rocks and stuff like that. Also, someone in my, my previous comment section, I was looking through all this. They said, they called me stupid and they said I should be going for lower level dinosaurs. Um... The way this works, okay, so if the same guy is watching, I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, you always want to go for higher level dinosaurs. Now, if anyone is telling you different, then they haven't played very much of the game. Uh, because no matter what level dinosaur you actually tame, you can level it the same amount of times. So, for example... Let's say you can only level a dinosaur 100 times. You have two di and you've tamed two dinosaurs. You have a level 1 dinosaur and you have a level 100 dinosaur. The level 100 can still level 100 times to 200 and the level 1 can only level 100 times to 100 or I guess 101. Um, so the reason you go for higher level dinosaurs is because they already have base stats that are better than the lower level dinosaur. And uh, so, I mean... They might have stats and things that you don't necessarily want, like weight and stuff like that, but it's still more stats than you would have got if you tamed a level 1 creature. Um, and they usually have other stats that more than make up for it, like increased melee damage, and then health, and stuff like that. And it, it, it's just like, it's like free points. It's like free points that you don't have to do, because you still can level up 100 times, so you might as well get a creature that's already better from the get-go. At least that's the way I look at it, and I think I'm right. So... Um, actually, I know I'm right. Uh, that just, I mean, that's the way it is, pretty much. Uh, anyways, we are going to go ahead and put a couple of these mega forges down. Let's go ahead and do one, like, right 
here. Uh, boom, there we go. So we have a Mega Forge right there. And then I want to do another one like right here. Let's just let's go back as far as we possibly can, then over as far as we can. And then there we go. Okay, so we have two Mega Forges. And these guys actually look pretty sweet. Yeah, uh, so uh, the models on these are cool. I wonder where these people get these models. I wonder if they find them online or they make them themselves. If they make them themselves, then a lot of these models are pretty cool. This is from, like, the 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 Mega Tools mod. So you have a Mega Forge, and then you actually have something else called, I think, a Mega... Um, uh, I, don't, I guess I don't have it yet. Let's go ahead and look in the engrams. Let's see here. Let's see. Mega. Yeah, so we have the Mega Forage and then the Mega Grinder, uh, which is kind of like a mortar and pestle. So it's just like a big mortar and pestle, which is pretty cool. Uh, these guys actually run on flint. So we can put flint in, uh, flint wood or spark powder. Uh, so let me go ahead and stick some of my stuff back. I'm going to stick... Uh, so, not flint. I mean... Uh, um thatch wood or spark powder not flint don't don't listen to me it's not flint um let's go ahead and stick this stuff back and stick all of this back i have some extra spark powder and we actually have a lot of stuff and I, I it's it's pretty ridiculous the amount of stuff you actually get from killing uh creatures it's really really good let's go ahead and stick all this stuff back now i want to grab a bunch of this metal let's go ahead and grab let's see one let's grab 400 and let's stick 400 in here yeah let's go ahead and stick 400 in here and then we're gonna stick 400 in there and then we're gonna grab a bunch of spark powder uh so let me grab one two three am i encumbered yes i'm encumbered so i can't actually well i can carry it but it makes me really slow um because i have a lot of stuff on me i did not spend a while actually sticking a bunch of things up because i uh, we have a a pure uh, i guess coloring chest now which is pretty good we have some more like on some random dinos somewhere um Anyways, let's go ahead and grab... I'm going to grab all the metal. We're going to start refining all of our metal. Let's go ahead and grab all this. I'm going to stick it all in here. There we go. Um, also, I was looking through all the comments on the names for the frog, and someone told me... I actually just found about the, out about this uh, during the video, but I looked in the comments, and someone told me the same thing. Uh, they've added a badass frog which is really cool. Now, there's a couple names that were really awesome uh, that I want to use for the badass frog. Once we tame it, I haven't tamed it yet, and I haven't even found it yet. I don't know. Uh, and the thing is, too, is I might not ever find a badass frog. You know, like it might not ever happen. Um, but if we do, we, I mean, I know how to find one. Um, but we're gonna go ahead. Oh yeah, we, I've already named him. I've named him Frosh. Uh, uh, Frosh. 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 I've named him Frosh, uh, which means frog in German, I guess. And actually, this is the name of one of the cats in Fairy Tale. Uh, and she has a little frog hat, which I think is pretty funny if it means frog in German. Um, uh, so yeah, we've named him Frosh, which just means frog. Uh, but you know, I mean, I'm, I'm English, so it's a it's a different word. That's pretty cool. Uh, knowledge uh, here in my garage, um, I have. 48 new bookshelves installed. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to stick some stuff in here. Let's see. One, two. And then uh, we should probably turn these guys on, right? Oh, yeah. I probably want to grab the rest of this uh, metal right here. One, two, three. And I am encumbered slightly, but we will. Sh we shall go ahead and grab all of this. Um, there we go. Okay. So uh, let's go. I'm going to grab some spark powder real quick. Let's see. Where is my spark powder? We have one. Oh, let me, let me grab one out of there. We'll grab one out of here. And we'll just grab all of it. We'll grab all of the spark powder that exists. And we'll go ahead and put it in nice, clean stacks. Uh, let me go ahead and... There we go. So we have 150. We can stick 150 in each of these guys. And we're going to see how fast this actually uh, does stuff. So apparently it's like five times faster, I think, than a normal forge, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and light fire. Um, so I'm hot. Uh, it has a cool animation. Uh, luckily, it doesn't burn everything down. And we already have two metal ingots. Three. Uh, so this is going to refine all of this. So we have, let's see, 200, 300, uh, 400, 500, 600? We have about 600. No, actually, that's, that's more than that. What am I doing? Two, four... Five. Yeah, we have about a thousand metal. Okay, I mean we have more than that. I, I screwed up my counting. Uh, we have about a thousand metal. We'll just say it's a thousand. Uh, but now we have an anklo, so I actually want to make an anklo saddle. Let's go ahead and look that up real quick. Let's see anklo. Uh, so we already know an anklo saddle. We do not have one ready. So let's see what we need to actually make an anklo saddle. Let's go ahead and go into saddles. Um, let's go ahead and look at anklo. So for an anklo, we need hide, fiber, and metal ingots. Well, we have a little bit of hide. Let's go ahead. Um, I have the fiber 
Apparently, we already have the fiber metal ingots in here, so I just need to grab the hide, right? Uh, I think I actually used all of my hide to... No, I didn't use... Uh, no, I didn't use even close to all of the hide we had. Um, because each of these furnaces actually take a couple hundred hide, which is pretty surprising. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a Anklo saddle. Where is this guy? It's right here. And then we also want a Mammoth saddle as well. So is this Mammoth? Yeah, this is Mammoth. So we don't have quite enough hide for the Mammoth. I think we have everything else though, right? Um, so let me find some hide real quick, and then we'll make the Mammoth saddle, and we'll go ahead and stick on here. Also, we need name suggestions for the Mammoth and Anklo. That would be perfectly beautiful. Uh, we have a Dodicarus saddle right there. Oh, yeah, and I also want a Badass Dodicarus, which is a thing as well. Well, that would be pretty cool. Okay, so the next course of action is we have the saddle for the Anklo. I don't have enough hide for the saddle for the Mammoth, and I also need to make a frog saddle as well. Uh, but we need to really level the Anklo up. We need to make him faster. He needs to hold a lot more weight, and then we just need to make him uh, just all around better. Oh, wow, we killed that a dodo pretty fast uh let's go ahead and do a little bit of movement speed and i want to just be able to move around decently fast you guys know the way i do it uh i like to make all my creatures have be pretty fast also since we can level them up 420 times like i mean getting them making them fast is a very small percentage of the levels even though we're using kind of like the beginning levels so they're the easiest to get um so yeah uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and probably continue to level up uh, the Anklo or whatever. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and call it here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helped me out tremendously. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, we're going to try to get some badass creatures hopefully soon. Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry too much about vanilla creatures like, uh, like Brontos and stuff like that. We're going to try to get the awesome badass and uh, alpha creatures. Um... And then maybe soon. Oh yeah, there's a uh, there's a photon gun. I am getting like seven frames, and I think it's because of let's see something. But yeah, we have a sentry gun. What? Hmm. There's supposed to be a gun that is like from Jones. That is is kind of like a a laser gun or something that does a massive amount of torpor damage. I don't I don't know what it is. Uh, but yeah, that's supposed to be a thing. Anyways, I am, I will see you guys next time.